Hey everybody, Crystal Gamer here with some super useful building tips for working with trims in The Sims 4. At least they'll be super useful to you if you don't already know them. So a huge welcome to you and thank you for joining me. If you're new to the channel, I typically release three Sims videos a week that include how-tos, builds, build tours, pack reviews, challenge results, fashion shows, and even an LP. So if you're into The Sims, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button below along with the little bell for notifications. It'd be an absolute pleasure to have you join the channel. Also, if you're someone who likes to use custom content, I've started creating and posting some that you can download from my Tumblr account listed below. And if you're interested in build challenges or furnish collaborations and the like, I post a lot of those sorts of things on Twitter at CrystalGamer1. And finally, you can also follow me on Facebook at the link listed below as well. Now on with the tips. I'm going to be covering three different tips today and I hope that they help you out. So as you can see, we have this little shell of a build here. And on the inside of this, it's a two story build and I have an area that's open to below. And something that I'm not sure if everyone knows that you can do is you can trim this interior piece. So when you have this white section and it's not matching, just go to your trim section and you want the exterior trims underneath. And I know it seems like it's an interior, but it's not really. And you can, matter of fact, I'll take this one. Yeah, that matches pretty nicely. And so there we go. I have trimmed the interior going down below. And that looks so much better with, than the white there. The white doesn't match anything. So that is tip number one. Now, tip number two is if you hold down the shift key, you can trim sections separately. So in other words, say I want this in white and I only want it on that side. If I hold down shift, I can put trim on that side in white. And say I want this side in blue. I hold down shift, I put trim in blue. Now obviously this does not look good in this particular build. It kind of looks a little bit funny, but you get the idea. I'm just holding shift and I'm I'm changing the color as I go around. So I have I have four different pieces of trim, all different colors. And this is actually super useful, not so much for color, but if you find yourself like on an exterior trim somewhere where you, trim is going where you don't want it to go, you don't have to just like let it go wherever, just hold down shift and you can specify exactly where you want the trim to go. And now let's go to the outside here. So this last thing is really cool and I'm betting most people don't know that you can do this. And that is, watch this coolness. You guys are gonna like this. All right, I'm gonna take this freeze here and I'm gonna throw this down here. I'll put it, I'm actually gonna do a different one for the middle. So, okay, so I have two different freezes in there. You can see I used this one for one and the other one for the middle. Now, if I go to roof trim, I can double up on this. I can take, I will take this one here with the little black and white at the top. Now I'm going to put it on there and on there. Now I have it on both. You can only see it on this one. So this particular combination only works on this, but it looks cool, right? That looks pretty neat. It gives us basically a different kind of trim. So let me try a different look for this. There we go. So I used the white trim in with that. So that creates like a, a black and white kind of funky thing. And that is this one here, the rustic freeze mixed with this here. I believe it's this one that I just used. But so you can combine freezes like this and probably one of the coolest things, whoops, I didn't mean to delete half the house. Whoops, that was not good. No, one of the coolest things I think are the new trims. If you guys have, you do have to have a couple of different packs for this stuff, right? Because these are, this is seasons, so you can do it with seasons. You can do it with this one. This is the jungle, uh, the jungle pack. And then this one is really cool. Now this one is the new freeze that we have with the get together pack. This is cool for modern looks. So if we stick this on, you see what this looks like with like nothing when it, you know, by itself, I'll do like, a, um, 
Actually, since this build is dark, let's go with like a gray because it sort of matches this build. I'll do it around the whole thing. So, okay. Now, obviously, this is not a modern build. And to me, this this freeze would be for something a lot more modern. But the thing is, if I take one of these, say I take a black and I put it behind it. Look at that look that it gives it. How cool is that? That is a neat look. And I can change it, you know, whatever. We have more. It, it opens up some color options that we don't have otherwise and just gives you a different looking kind of trim. And so you can play with it. Now, the ones that it works best with, though, like I say, are, are these couple here in this one, because the thing is, is all of these others that are in here, they're too thick. And so you can't see these these trims. And in fact, in order to do this, you need to use one of these two trims here. You can't see any four of these with any of the trims. So you're relegated to only these two trims with the get together the jungle and the the seasons to be able to do this little trick, but you can mix and match and, and try different looks. And yeah, I think that, that it's a cool little trick and I hope you guys do too. And if you think this video was helpful, please do hit the like button, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks so much for joining me today. And I hope to see y'all back again next time. Bye now.